What if we told you that the biggest crisis facing humanity is already underway? It's not some distant threat. It's here. It's happening right now. From rising sea levels to scorching heat waves, from devastating wildfires to floods that wash away entire communities, we are witnessing the reality of global warming with our own eyes. But understanding this crisis means more than just seeing the symptoms. It means facing the causes, the consequences, and most importantly, the solutions. In this video, we'll explore the science, the human stories, and the collective actions that can change the course of our planet's future. This is not just about climate change. This is about us. Let's start with the facts. Because the science is clear and the time for debate is long over. Over the past 150 years, human activity, primarily the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas, has released massive amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide act like a blanket, trapping heat and disrupting the planet's natural balance. Since the late 19th century, Global temperatures have risen by more than 1.1 degrees Celsius. And while that may seem like a small number, it has already caused profound shifts in our climate systems. The past eight years have been the hottest ever recorded. In fact, 2023 and 2024 saw record-shattering temperatures that affected every continent. And it's not just the heat, we're seeing Ice sheets melting in Greenland and Antarctica, ocean temperatures rising and accelerating coral bleaching, glaciers retreating faster than expected, permafrost thawing, releasing even more greenhouse gases, weather patterns becoming more extreme and unpredictable. Perhaps even more alarming are the climate tipping points, critical thresholds in Earth's systems that, once crossed, may lead to irreversible changes. For example, the collapse of the West Antarctic ice sheet could raise sea levels by several meters. The Amazon rainforest, once a carbon sink, is starting to release more carbon than it absorbs. Arctic sea ice is vanishing, reducing the planet's ability to reflect sunlight and speeding up warming. We are standing at the edge of these thresholds, and if we do nothing, we risk triggering changes that cannot be undone. Now let's talk about what these changes actually mean for real people, for families, for communities, for ecosystems that support life as we know it. Climate change is not a single issue. It is a force multiplier. It intensifies existing problems and creates new ones. Rising sea levels, coastal cities around the world are facing an existential threat. Sea levels have already risen about 20 centimeters since 1900, and the rate is accelerating. Places like Jakarta, Bangkok, and parts of Miami are sinking beneath the sea. Island nations in the Pacific, like Tuvalu and Kiribati, may disappear entirely within our lifetimes. Millions of people face the risk of displacement. Extreme weather events, Storms are becoming more violent. Droughts are lasting longer. Heat waves are killing thousands. We are witnessing 100-year events every few years. In 2022 alone, flooding in Pakistan displaced over 30 million people and submerged a third of the country. Wildfires across California, Australia, and the Mediterranean have destroyed lives, wildlife, and entire forests. Food insecurity, changing rainfall patterns, soil degradation, and temperature spikes are threatening our food systems. Staple crops like wheat, rice, and maize are becoming harder to grow in some regions, leading to reduced yields and higher prices. Fisheries are collapsing in warming oceans. Pollinators like bees are dying off. The very foundation of our food chain is under threat biodiversity loss. We're in the midst of a mass extinction event, the sixth in Earth's history, and this one is driven by us. One million species are at risk of extinction. 
From elephants to insects, from coral reefs to rainforests, ecosystems are collapsing under the pressure of a warming world. Every species lost is not just a tragedy, it's a loss of ecological stability, medicine, food sources, and natural beauty. Human, displacement and inequality. Climate change does not affect everyone equally. Marginalized communities, indigenous peoples, low-income families, and those in the global south are disproportionately impacted. Even though they've contributed the least to the problem, this is why climate change is also a justice issue. It exacerbates existing inequalities and creates new ones through hunger, migration, health impacts, and economic instability. Human stories, real voices from a changing planet. Let's pause for a moment and listen. Listen to the farmer in Kenya whose crops have failed three years in a row. Listen to the mother in Bangladesh who rebuilds her home every time the river floods. Listen to the firefighter in California who says the fire season never really ends anymore. Listen to the child who can't go outside to play because the air is thick with smoke. These are not statistics. These are lives. The climate crisis is personal, it's emotional, and it's unfolding every day around the world. When we connect with these stories, we realize that this isn't just about glaciers and graphs. It's about people, families, futures, hope through innovation and solutions. Despite the gravity of the situation, there is reason to hope, not because the problem is small, but because our potential to solve it is enormous. Around the globe, incredible work is being done to fight climate change. Renewable energy revolution, solar and wind power are now the cheapest sources of new electricity in most parts of the world. Countries like Denmark are aiming for 100% renewable power. Offshore wind farms, solar deserts, community microgrids. These are not science fiction. They're here and they're growing fast. Battery technology is improving. Electric vehicles are on the rise and entire cities are moving away from coal. Sustainable agriculture. Farmers are switching to regenerative practices that store carbon in the soil, use less water and boost biodiversity. Urban farms, vertical agriculture and plant-based alternatives are transforming how we grow and consume food. Green infrastructure. Cities are redesigning their roads, buildings, and transportation systems to be more sustainable. Green roofs, bike lanes, electric buses, and climate-resilient buildings are becoming the new normal. Carbon capture and reforestation. New technologies are being developed to remove carbon from the atmosphere, from machines that suck CO2 from the air to massive reforestation projects around the globe. Every tree planted, every acre of forest, preserved, helps restore the balance. What you can do, individual and collective action. You might be wondering, what can I do? The answer, more than you think. Change starts at the individual level and grows when we act together. Here are just a few ways you can make a real impact. Reduce your carbon footprint. Switch to energy efficient appliances. Use LED bulbs and smart thermostats. Take public transport, bike or carpool. Eat less meat and avoid food waste. Buy fewer disposable products. Reuse and recycle. Talk about climate change. Share articles. Educate yourself and others. The more people understand the crisis, the more pressure we create for action. Support leaders and policies that prioritize climate action. Push for clean energy laws, environmental protection, climate justice, and international cooperation. Your voice matters. Your vote matters. Join a movement. Connect with local or global organizations working on climate solutions. Whether it's tree planting, beach cleanups, political advocacy, or sustainable innovation, there's a role for everyone. When individuals unite, they become a movement, and movements change the world. 
we must never forget. This is a global challenge, but it is also a global opportunity. If we work together across borders, beliefs, and backgrounds, we can build a more just, sustainable, and resilient world. We need systemic change, yes, but systems are made of people, and people have power. We need businesses to invest in sustainable innovation, governments to create strong climate policies, media to inform and inspire, communities to support one another, and each of us to do what we can wherever we are. This is the challenge of our time, and how we respond will define our generation. The truth is, we are the first generation to truly feel the impacts of climate change and the last that can do something about it. It's easy to feel overwhelmed. It's easy to feel powerless. But in reality, we are more powerful than we've ever been. Technology, communication, knowledge, connection, passion, purpose. We have the tools. We have the science. We have the solutions. What we need now is courage. Courage to face the facts. Courage to make changes. Courage to believe in a better future. The road ahead will not be easy, but it is ours to walk, together. So let's rise. Let's act. Let's build a world where the air is clean, the water is safe, the forests thrive, and our children have a future worth fighting for. Because the fight for the climate is the fight for everything we love. If this message moved you, please, Subscribe for more content like this. Share this video with someone you care about. Leave a comment. What's one thing you're doing to help the planet? And remember, your voice matters. Your choices matter. And together, we make the difference.